Hi guys, what's up? And um, today I'm going to be doing a movie review <coughs> of uh, World War Z. Um, you can see that World War Z. So yeah, World War Z. Um, I watched this one. Watched it in 3D. I was really anticipating for this film. Um, I did like a trailer review. Yeah. I actually first heard about this film about two years back, and I remember like, oh, Brad Pitt's doing a new zombie film. It's called like World War X, but then they changed it to World War Z. Because, uh, you know, World War Z, zombies, I think it was called World War X, something like that. Uh, no, World War Z, obviously. So, yes, that's Brad Pitt. Um, I don't really know anybody else. The only person I actually am a familiar face is David Morse, who's in it for, like, two minutes, literally, not even that, like, 30 seconds. I don't know what the fuck his point of the film was. But, anyway, so Brad Pitt plays Gerald Lane. Um, even though there's not a lot, obviously, you know, only Brad Pitt's in it, um, it's still a massively, like, $200 million budget in a kind of a zombie epic. So that's Brad Pitt as Gerald Lane, um, and yeah, he basically is this um, ex-UN nations kind of uh, retired CIA slash UN nations operative um, who's like you know just kind of retiring, and um, a random zombie pandemic outbreak comes, and um, basically everyone's like get, getting infected, and all the zombies are coming, and they're and, uh, eating them, everyone, and he basically has to go to like you know like. Um, Canada, North Korea, uh, England, Jerusalem, Israel, and just try and find answers and try and like stop this pandemic and try and find the cure. And yeah, it's kind of like an action-based thriller, thriller slash action slash drama kind of zombie kind of epic film. And yeah, um, that's pretty much like the plot. It's just like a zombie pandemic comes out kind of at an outbreak. Brad Pitt has to go and stop it. It's written by Mark Foster, who did Quantum of Solace, which is probably the weakest Daniel Craig Bond film. But, um, yeah, I was pretty anticipated for this film and kind of was let down a bit. Uh, I thought it would be a little bit better than it was. Um, the beginning was pretty, like, really scary. Um, as the film progressed, it came into more, at the beginning it was like horror, then it became more action, then it became drama at the end, so it was like three genres packed into the beginning, the middle, and the end of the whole kind of picture film kind of thing. I thought I thought it was pretty good performances by like the actors. Brad Pitt was really good in the lead role. The zombies were really like good. I really like how the zombies like start like spasticating out and then they just kind of eat eight people. They were like really really fast running zombies. Some really good scenes like the the the, the whole the whole like kind of like Jerusalem Israel part with like the helicopters and the, when all the zombies are running in the wall and they have to all shoot them down. That part was really really like action packed. Really really awesome scenes. Uh, some of the south the north the Korea part where they're in the, in the, in the plane and there's like a they're in Korea, and then they have to, like, like, it's just really, like, I was in the cinema in 3D, and everyone was being quiet, and I was, like, really, my heart was, like, really pumped, because I was, like, oh, and the zombies just come out at you at 3D, it's really, really scary. Um, kind of a lot of jumps in this film, actually. But, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say it was a major letdown, I'd just say I was, um, I really, really pumped up for this film, but, yeah, a bit too pumped up. But, actually, I did really enjoy it. I thought it was a really good, like, zombie film. Definitely a really, really one of the best zombie films I've probably ever seen. But for a film, it was okay, pretty decent. Um, yeah, I, I actually quite I quite enjoyed it for a, for a for a fun action film. There's a couple of good, really good scenes. Like, for instance, there's um, a part of the plane where um, there's actually a zombie on the plane and he eats uh, like someone's neck. Then they eat another person, and the whole plane becomes infected. Brad Pitt gets a grenade and throws it, and it blows up the plane. And there's just a really awesome like climatic scene. The ending to the film was kind of like well. You know, it, it was, I don't want to give it away. I'm not going to give it away, but it didn't really seem like too far fetched, too dramatic. It was just kind of like he's gone through all this shit, and then the ending just like happened. Credits, you know, could have had a better ending. You know, more of like a story kind of plot based. You know how he kind of found everything and all that. But yeah, to be honest, I really, really thought it was a really good zombie film, and I'd watch it again. You know, if it's on TV or something, I'm glad I watched it at the cinema. Yeah, it was a really good, really good 3D as well. The 3D was really good, like the zombies falling from the sky and it just goes in you and the zombies are like that and it and just comes at you 3D in the dark scenes. So really, really scary. Yeah, I, I actually quite enjoyed Bob Wazzy. I thought it was a good film, good zombie, really good zombie film, a pretty good film. Not a brilliant film, but yeah, uh, fun, fun kind of horror slash action f zombie movie. I give it a 7 out of 10. That's my review of World War Z. Thanks for watching, guys.